Here it is, Winter Blend 2023. Everybody's been looking for it. Only a limited amount of bottles out here, Lou. I think this is bottle number 2,519. I think they made 7,500. Is that I'm what they sure. did? I, that's what I've heard. It's 44 ABV. I don't even have one. Prices mm -hmm. are getting out of hand already. What, they yeah. came out at like uh, 199 was it, or not even that much? Uh, you know what? The, the MSRP was probably 199 but nobody sold it for 199 Lou. Not really, right? No, no, I, I did see one guy on the internet today saying he got lucky and got He must have knew the guy in the store or something. Good for him. But it shot right off. Not at five, 600 bucks, right? Uh, you know what? I haven't... I've tasted this earlier. Um, a friend of mine brought it from Mexico. Right. Um, we're going to retaste it today. Yeah. Cracked it open. A classic. Look at that cork finish. Yeah. You know, yeah. the agave, shaped yeah, agave. Beautiful bottle. Look beautiful look bottle, Lou. To me, this is one of the nicest looking bottles of tequila you, anyone could get. It is. It's a great bottle. 2023. Just a winter blend. of Reposado. They use three different types of barrels here, bud, right? Well, yep, American white oak, which had... Previously had charanda in it, which is a sugarcane-based sugar spirit, which is like a rum. So they had for Michoacan, the state of Michoacan. So they had the American white oak barrel that they used. And then they also had a Hungarian barrel, right? So that was, uh, they used that for the 2022 winter blend. And that one had Tokai. How do you say that? Tokai. That Hungarian. It was a Hungarian barrel. So that's supposed to be sweet? Well, they make degree? dry and sweet Tokai, but this is probably, I'm going to say, a sweeter, you know, a dessert wine. Okay. And then they had the French oak barrel, which was recently also used for the 2022 winter blend, which had the uh, Oloroso sherry in it. Nice. That's sweet. That's nice. Right? That's a yeah, sweet. Uh, without a doubt. So, so now you have those three barrels I mean, that they used, you know, all blended together, Kobe, you know? Kobe and Stefano, they are, they are little mad scientists. Yeah. This is their project. <laughs> Emma lets them run with it. This is the uh, fourth year, started in 2019. Yeah, I got yeah. them all back here except yeah. for this guy. Well, and this is Gregory's bottle, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be hunting one down. It's just there's too many out now, too many different special offerings out now. I can't keep up with everything. You but know, hopefully next year they'll, they'll produce a little bit more, and it'll become you know a little bit more mainstream. But you know what? It's a special bottle. It's a right. special bottling coming out of... Out of a great distillery. 1493 in the Valley. Oh, my God. Galamo and Colby and Stefano. Yeah. And this is traditionally made. This is Tahona Crushed Blue. This is, you know, this is Valley Agaves. Um, Oven. You know, it, it's... it's Wood different. fermentation. Yeah. My, they don't mess open air, you know, yeah. without Copper, fibers. Double copper. They only have three stills there. Louis, right. You know that. We've been there. Yep. Um, deep well water. There's only three... Three distilleries that use this water source, they're one of them down there in, That's in right. the town of Tequila. Right, and they blend those barrels together on this guy, you know, so it's 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 really nice. I mean, it's got a nice uh, nose to yeah. it. Yeah, and it's, it's got some color for a repo. It's not yeah, it super does. dark, but it's got a good color. Yeah. Nice legs. I'm getting like a like nutmeg and, and hay, like barnyard hay a little okay. bit, you know? But baking spices for sure, right? You getting that? Getting baking spices, getting a minerals, oak, a little cinnamon. Earthiness. I get a little earthiness in yeah. this, too. Yeah, some cinnamon. Pepper, honey, mm, fruity for sure. I don't know how many people out there have had an opportunity to try this, but um, you know, we we, we should honestly look compare them one day. Yeah, one day we'll do all four, you know, side by side. I have my personal favorite. I think you do. Yeah, 2019. Um, okay. Mostly everybody, mm -hmm. you know. Then I think I jumped up. I jumped a year to uh, mm -hmm. another year, and then uh, this guy here. We'll have like to see 22. where this comes in. I like last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year was good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Last year was good. Oh, wow, this is nice. So, yeah, you, you're in already? I'm in already, Lou. Dance is on my tongue. It's a little, actually a little minty. You said it first. <laughs> I'm using first with the mint. He said it first. It is a little minty. It does have some mint to it. Wow. Definitely the baking spices and all of that. Yeah, oak. Sweet. It's sweet. Sweeter it's than I sweet, thought it would yeah. be. Well, I guess, you know, with the Oloroso, right? And then the other barrel, the Hungarian, maybe... Uh, it's adding a little sweetness. It's, uh, yeah, it's got a nice thick to You know, I, I tasted this. A, a guest of mine had brought this to the restaurant, and he got it from Mexico. And, and when I first tasted it, it needed to open up. This is now a month or so later. Been sitting in the bottle. Yeah. Um, it opened up nicely. Yeah. You know, and it opened up nicely in the glass. This is uh, really nice, I have to say. This is, uh, this is really nice. I like this a lot. And if from what I can recall, uh, if I can, I, I'll have to, like you say, do a comparison together. This is right up there, maybe my, it would be after the 19, but not far after it. Mm -hmm. And I think I might put it ahead of the last uh, year that we did. I don't want to jump, yeah. jump to a choice. It's yet. up there, two or three. But I'm, I'm going to say, we're going we're gonna to do a blind. 
on the four of these maybe in the next month or two. Yeah, that's a good and I'd idea. Really, I'd really like to see how we score everything because, you know, what you think is your favorite. And Absolutely. Then, you know, well, what do I always so. say, right? Uh, blind's the only way to see. And yeah, you know what? Right. Everyone raves about the 19. Oh, the 19, you can't be beat. You know what? You're yeah. right. We may not pick the 19. Yeah. Yeah, that is the only way you can tell, guys. You know, if you're going to be shocked. I, mean, I think the one year they did beer barrels, I yeah. wasn't a big fan of that. Thing. No, that was 20. I like that one, though. I was I one of the did. only ones right. that liked that one. But I'm saying, but they yeah. were blinded, and maybe I'm going to say, hey, I like the beer one. You know, right. I didn't know that. You right. Know? So, right. There's no doubt about it. I might be prejudging. Oh, yeah. Getting some sediment on this now, too, you know? The minerals are there. It's still, still get a little that, that mint. Dan dancing on my yeah, lip. There is here. like a mint there, and yeah. it's, it's it's like a hay. It's almost like you're in a barn in, a, okay. in some ways, you know? A little nutmeg or something, right? Yeah, That's yeah. What definitely nutmeg, cooking spices, typical reposado yeah. type. You know, not it's not overly sweet, Lou. It's got a little sweetness because of the sherry, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and, and the tokai, but it's not like, you know, it's not that fake sweetness. Yeah, and believe me, I'm a tough customer when it comes to Fortaleza because I love their reposado. I just think their regular reposado is the, the best. It's the best reposado I think you can buy, you know, followed by a lighter version of a different brand, a little different presence altogether. But I love their repo. And, you know, yeah, these are special. These are special. I don't know if they warrant the extra price in a lot of ways. Not when they start getting aftermarket like this. I mean, you know? I'm hearing aftermarket three, three fifty, up to $500. I just saw five and oh, 600 plus so, today. So there you go. I saw so. over 600 at a couple places already. I mean, it's only been out, what, a month or two? I mean, I... So for the laser... I have to give them credit. They they don't jack up the prices. These people come out with good pr suggested prices out of the factory. I think this year was a little higher than this, it this had year been. Was, this year was a lot higher than, than they finally caught on on, on the special bottling. Yeah, but because I, everyone else is making the money except for them. But I have to tell you, when I when I get their Blanco, their Repo, they're still... You know, the Inejo, it's the price hasn't changed in, in five, six years since I've been carrying it. Not at all. G is very honest with all. He wants everyone to be able to taste it. And I'll tell you something. I'm getting people telling me, sending me PMs, that they're at some honest liquor stores. They're still getting the Blanco for $58, $60, and something like that. So price. really, that that's um, it's a great price for a, that one, a most traditional product you can buy. So, yeah, so this year it's a little bit higher when it came out. But uh, you know what? Kudos to them. Fortalez is the best. This is really nice. This is really... I like this a lot. I'm glad this you is... enjoyed it, it. So, yeah. Thank you for bringing us over. Oh, and uh, So, what would you give it as a rating? What do you think? Um, for me, personally, Lou, I'm going to give it about an 87, 88, um, price point-wise. Um, it is unique. It is delicious. Um, I guess you got to consider the price now, yeah. right? You got to consider that with the rating. Right. You I know. think you're going to rate it a little higher. You're feeling, you're feeling, you're feeling it. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm feeling it as 88 or 89. Okay. At this point, yeah. Where'd you go? You went a little I under. Went, that? I went a little under. I went 87, yeah. 86. But that's fine. It's really nice. It's really good. Yeah. I like it a lot. So you know, Fortaleza Winter Blend 2023. You saw it here. I think you'll like it if you can find it. Right. And listen. Salute. Great job. Salute. Guys.